This is a Bally Dash 35 MPU board that I'd been working on, and I discovered a solder bridge between one of the address bus signals and one of the data bus signals. I think it was A0 and D7, and they are adjacent to each other uh, in the traces that run from U1 to U6, also including the 6810. So I wanted to show everybody how you efficiently detect that you have that kind of condition, i.e. a bridge between signals. So the first thing you do is you set up your meter to continuity, and then you place your probe on pin one of the processor generally, and then you just rake the rest of the pins. And anywhere you get continuity, like here, you know that there is a short between those two pins. Now this one is in particular is on purpose because pins 1, 39, 38, and 35 is that 43, 9, 3, 8, 37, 36, 35, yeah, are all connected to ground. So once but once I have raked all the pins with pin one. Then you just move your black probe to pin two and repeat the process. Move to pin three and repeat the process. If you get any beeps at all, you know that you have a short between those two pins. I'm still set up for a continuity test. So you just keep going. Eventually you get all the way around so that the last two pins you're testing are 39 and 40 and I my probe slip but you get the point pretty simple works on Bally dash 1735 stern mpu 100 mpu 200 really well because the 6800 is directly connected to the rom chips the ram chips the pias etc on system seven, Williams system seven, eight, nine, eleven, for instance, there's a buffer IC that sits between the processor and the peripheral devices, I'll say. So it doesn't lend itself quite as well on a system like that. WPC, it works excellently. Thanks for watching.